everyone welcome to my channel so today I have my sister here with me and we are doing our sister versus sister ipsy versus ipsy for April of 2023 if you're unfamiliar with the ipsy glam bag it is $13 a month for five deluxe sample size beauty products so makeup skincare hair care beauty tools all that kind of fun stuff and you do get a little makeup bag with it for that $13 a month plus a $1.99 handling fee. You do get to make a choice for one of the products inside of the box. And I believe the day that this video go goes up is the day that it is choice day. Um, so if you get your Ipsy, make sure you go in and choose one of the products. The rest are chosen for you based on your profile. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina. And my name is Rachel. She's my sister. <laughs> and on my channel, we like to unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including lots of sister versus sister mm -hmm. videos. So if you like these, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. We are so happy that you're here hanging out with us today, unboxing our Ipsy Glam Bags. All right, so each month the bag comes with a little card and it says a theme on it. This month's theme is Anything is Possible. I absolutely love that. I think it's so cute. It's really spring with the little flowers. Um, it has some little things on the back, score epic savings. It talks about add-ons, the Ipsy, Ipsy Shop, Mega Drop Shop. And then on the inside, it goes over all the product, a brief description, um, and what the full size retails for. This is the little bag this month. I actually really, really like this bag. On one side, it says, look good, do good. It's kind of like a dark blue. And then the other side's flowers. And then it has this like chocolate brown um, little. What, Pull tab? Yeah, I don't know what material this is called. Just ribbon? Like, ribbon, yeah. <laughs> um, the inside is just the same. Um, fabric. I like it. I think it's really cute. I think it's really cute. I do feel like this bag is more cheaply made than some of the other bags we've gotten. Like the, the, the zipper is kind of like chunky and gets a little stuck and the canvas isn't like double lined or anything like that. But that being said, I do think it is a cute bag for the spring. Yeah. And with it not being double lined, it is hard with white if you are putting makeup in it. But you know, you just have to keep that in mind when you use it. All right, so the very first item that I received in my glam bag was actually on the outside. So it comes in a bubble mailer and was outside of this bag. And it is from V Cosmetic. This is their Beauty Sponge in Black, which retails for $18 as a full size. Um, usually you get about one full size in it. This is my only full size, it looks like, in this box. So it's just a little black beauty sponge. It actually feels pretty nice. Um, I tend to be, I use the, um, Real Techniques sponges, mm -hmm. um, but this one feels nice as well. Um, because I have really light skin though, this is gonna be like not black. I mean, it's gonna be really obvious because there's gonna be like a ton of makeup on it. I feel like if you have a deeper complexion, a black sponge would be nice. Even though you'll still see the product, it's like maybe less obvious versus me who's like pale white. <laughs> but that being said, a full size beauty sponge in a box and I am somebody who uses beauty sponges. Mm -hmm. So I am pretty excited about the first thing in my bag. All right, so first up, the item that I'm showing you is actually the item that I chose for the month and it is by Grown Alchemist. It's their hand cream in vanilla and orange peel. This is a deluxe sample. Um, the full size is $26 but the little sample comes in a box. Let's see. I just can't wait to smell it. That's yeah. honestly what I'm here for. And Grown Alchemist has like some really nice skincare. Um, I don't know if I've ever tried this though. Oh you have to puncture. Oh yeah it's one of the ones that you have to puncture the, the metal. The puncture. The puncture. <laughs> Okay, let me, how does it smell? I want to smell. I don't smell anything. Uh-oh. Okay, oh, there it is. Oh, that's actually really nice. Yeah. I don't get so much, I get more orange, not vanilla. Same. It is like, do you want, well, do you want to look? Your it's, hand feels very moisturized. Yeah, it's really creamy um, in a good way. It doesn't feel sticky. That's nice. It is like orange, like citrusy, less vanilla, but it smells really good. And it's perfect for summer because you want just kind of that light, citrusy. fruity, citrus flavor. So I'm excited about this. This I like these little ones for my car or my oh, purse because yeah. then when I'm on the go and my hands feel dry, then I can just whip it out. So I'm excited about this. Not gonna lie, I kind of want the full size of that. Like I'm yeah. a big hand cream fan and I didn't pick that, but like that smells like it's really bright and nice and like sweet. Yep, like it's yeah. a very good scent. Yeah, I would drink it. 
I know it sounds weird, but... <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I know yeah. exactly. It's got that, like, orange creamsicle, like, type of scent to it. Exactly. The next thing that I received is from Benefit Cosmetics, and this is the Professional Good Cleanup Mini Foam Cleanser. This is a deluxe size, and the full size is $29. Now, I can't remember whether or not I got this in a in my PR or not. I know we've got, like, this is, like, the new line from um, Benefit, and I know I've gotten a couple different things, but I'm like, have I gotten this or not? Either way, I'm really excited because I love little travel sized cleansers, and this is a foam cleanser, which is great. I like these type of pump cleansers, particularly foam cleansers, like getting into the shower. I usually put them on my, like, chest, back, and face just because I can get acne in those places. Um, and this is a pore cleansing cleanser, so happy about this. Yeah, that's really cute for, um, like, traveling. You don't have to worry about, you know, like, unscrewing it or anything. You can just pump it Yeah, out. and it, like, twists to lock in place, which is also really nice. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say, I don't know if it's, like, heavy compared to normal ones since it's in, like, a metal canister, so if you're worried about weight or whatever, but... Um, I'm excited to try this out. All right, so the next thing that I received is by Billion Dollar Brows. It's their mini micro pencil in taupe. Um, yeah, so it's just a mini micro pencil. One side it has the spoolie, the other side the pencil. I'm not going to open this because I personally don't use pencils. I like to use a little, like, angle brush and use a powder and put it on my eyebrows. But these are awesome for people who use them, and it's really nice that it has the spoolie. I'm also happy it came in taupe because when I first checked all the things that I received, because I do that when I go in, like when they tell you everything you received, I go in on the computer and check. Um, and it said in blonde. It must have just been like a malfunction because then it switched to taupe a few days later. And I was like, I'm definitely not blonde. I even went in and checked my profile. So I'm glad it came in taupe. It's just not something I'll personally use, but that's a nice little little item, little brow pencil to try out. Next up is the product that I chose, and it is from Pure Lease Beauty. This is their Dragon Fruit and Niacinamide Moisturizer. Uh, the full size retails for $35. It is 50 milliliters. This is 15. I just thought this sounded really, really nice. It strengthens, um, boosts radiance, and improves textures, and I just have a feeling it probably smells really good. I'm not going to undo the, the thing right now, though, or do you want me to? I just want to smell it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use it right now. That's why I didn't want to open it, but we'll do like a little bit just to see if it like it may not smell. Oh no, there's like no scent. Oh, that's mm -hmm. wait, is there? There's like a light, very, but it, but it kind of smells like watermelony. Like I don't know what I'm, dragon fruit smells like, yeah. but there I'm is a very, picking. very yeah. light fruit scent, which I actually kind of like that it is light. Yeah, it feels really moisturizing. Actually, I may just go ahead and straight use this on my face right now because <laughs> well, not right now because I have makeup on, but like tonight. Um, because I do really like the way that that feels. Um, so a nice little moisturizer. All right, so next up, Katrina and I actually received the same item. It's by Shayna B. Miami. It's their Be Free Eyeshadow Duo. Um, let's see, what's the shades of this? Does it say? I think it's just oh, the Be Free. Free. Yeah, okay. So it has two shades like that. I guess one's kind of like salmon-y, pinky, and the other's more brown. I can't yeah. get mine open. <laughs> so we are both, while you're opening that, we're not big fans of these like mini eyeshadow things. Mm -hmm. I tend to gravitate towards the palette. That being said, I did get this in my PR box, and if you want to see me try this on, I do try it on in my PR video, and I actually was pleasantly surprised with the way that the shadows looked, but realistically, I just don't gravitate towards these mini palettes. It's really pretty. It's a fun summer. This pink is very, like, a bright pink, but it's probably not something I'll wear all the time, and obviously, I already have this, so this one's going to go in a giveaway. I don't know. What do you think? I personally don't really wear eyeshadow often, so it's hard for me to use little ones because when I do use eyeshadow, I have, like, bigger palettes that I use. But I will say this brown is, like, calling my name because it has little gold and little pink shimmer pieces in it. If you look closely, like, there's some pink, there's some yeah. gold. Like, it's a stunning color, so I really, really want to swatch it right now, but I just know myself. And I wear eyeshadow maybe four times a year, so <laughs> it's just not realistic for me to use it, but it does seem like a really cute, fun summer palette. Yeah. Last but not least, I received a product from Beauty For Certain, and this is their deluxe lipstick in number 17. Um, the full size retails for $18. This is not a full size. It's, <laughs> I mean, tiny. it's tiny. So let's see, what does it look like? Oh, that is actually quite a pretty shade of lipstick. I will swatch just so we can see... Oh, oh, it's orange. That's really... Does that look the same? No. It looks like, if you put it up next to this, it looks... I don't know, it just looks really orange. Okay, yeah. I'm not... And it felt, I'm gonna be honest, it did not feel very comfortable, like, when I... Well, maybe it is more comfortable when I put it on, but that's... I think it's a little too orange for me, personally. 
if you have more like yellow undertones, maybe it'll look pretty, but I don't know if I'll really be using that much. I mean, it's not like a bad color. Like I definitely could wear it. Oh, I don't, I don't know if it's, it kind of smells mm. chocolatey. I don't know. But not good It smells weird. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I don't know. Um, I'm not... I was actually more excited about it, and now I'm less excited uh, about it. Cause, I mean, the shade's not bad. I could wear it, but it's definitely more orange than, like, I would... Or, like, peachy than I would normally go. I'm curious to see what it would look like on your lips. Like, if it would bring out different undertones. Because your lips are darker than your hand skin. So I wonder if it would, like, look different. But it is... It's very orangey. I'm not sure it would be the right shade for you. But you'd have to try it on and see. Yeah, so... Interesting. Definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone. So next up, I received a cleanser. This is by Ren Clean Skin Care. It's the Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. Um, it's a deluxe sample. It's just a mini cleanser. I don't think I've ever tried Ren's cleansers before, um, but it says removes makeup, SPF, and pollution. So it, it that seems like a good one for summer when you have all the like sunscreen and everything gunk on your face. I will say it says oil cleanser. I'm not I don't use oil cleansers a lot. I like like more gel, but it says gel oil cleanser, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a jelly oil cleanser. That's probably good for removing makeup. I like oil based for when I remove makeup. I think I've tried that and or one of their cleansers before it is sealed, yeah. um, but I have enjoyed the ones that I've tried by them. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a go. And like I said, this is probably perfect for a beach trip Ooh, when yeah. you have all your, you know, the gunk on your face from the day. So I'll definitely give it a try. I love getting these little cleansers for traveling so I don't have to bring a huge one with me. So I'm excited. All right, last but not least, I received a little lip balm. This is by Mo Beauty. It's their conditioning lip balm. This is full size and it's $8. It's really cute for a lip balm. Especially I mean, for $8. It's like, is that metal? It's plastic. So it oh. is plastic. It feels a little cheap, but I mean, it's a, you know, Ooh, it's, it's a lip balm. Pink. Yeah, it's a little light pink lip balm. I have lip gloss on right now, so I can use it. I don't I, know. I wouldn't put it on your, Ooh, oh, I just, just shoved that up my nose. Know. Ooh, it smells good. What does it smell like? Like, I don't know what does it, how do... Ooh, it's like kind of tropical. Yeah, tropical mint is what I'm getting. Maybe there's no mint, but I'm just... It's like tropical, but not floral. Yeah. But not fruity. Yeah. It's like tropical without being floral or fruity. It's nice, I don't though. know, it's really nice. It reminds me of something childhood or like something... It reminds me of a scent that I'm familiar yeah. with and I really like that scent. So. Yeah. Same. Okay. I mean, nice. for if you think about like just lugging around like those cheap like lip balms that you get at the drugstore and then to have this like bougie one. Nice. It's cute. I'm excited. Yes. All right. So that was everything in each of our Ipsy glam bags for April. Now we're going to give our bags a rating out of five. So if we like the product and we're going to use it, we'll give it a point. If we do not like it, not for us, zero points. And then a half a point for products where we're kind of on the fence. We're not really sure. We need to try it out a little bit more. All right, so for my bag, I'm going to give the Beauty Sponge a point, the Benefit Cleanser a point, the Pure Lease Moisturizer a point, the Shayna B Miami a half a point, because while I did try it and I did like the shades, I don't think I'll gravitate towards it very much. And then also a half a point for the lipstick, because I don't want to say I'll never use it, but I do feel like I need to try it out a little bit more. So that is a four out of five Ipsy for me. I do feel like it's a four out of five. I feel like there's a good array of products. I feel like this is one of my better bags. Definitely not the best, but I do really like the stuff that I got this month. All right, let's see how mine compares. Okay, I'm going to start with the hand cream. I'm going to give that a point. It smelled really good. Um, the eyebrow pencil, I'm going to give it zero points. It's a good product. I just won't use it. Um, so zero points for that. I'm going to give zero points to the eyeshadow palette. Again, I thought that brown shade was stunning, but I'm never going to use this palette. So zero points for that. I'm going to give a point to the cleanser. These are great for traveling. It seems like a nice one. And then a point for the lip balm. It smelled really good and seems really nice. So that's three out of five. I think that perfectly depicts how I feel about it. Um, it's a good box. I like it. I definitely really am excited about the things in the box, but I'm not going to use everything. So yeah, yeah, three out of five. So whose bag did you like better? Would you have picked yours or mine? I think I still would pick mine. Um, the only thing I'd really want from yours is the cleanser and then the pure lease. Yeah. But um, yeah, if I could yeah. shoot, if I could have swapped out the Shayna B eyeshadow and this lip balm for the hand cream and her lip balm, I think that would have been a perfect oh, bag. Yeah. That would have been an amazing bag. Um, but I still like mine better than yours. Yours is pretty good too, though, to be fair. Like I yeah. wouldn't have been mad if I had gotten your bag. Yeah. So. 
Let us know, who do you think won this month? Whose bag do you like better? We'd love to hear down below. What did you get in your Ipsy Glam bag? We would love to hear that, so let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Tomorrow there's a Universal Yums video. And we'll see you in our next video.